Uh, hello guys, uh, this is Mahdi uh, in this uh, tutorial I will show you how you can create uh, a uh, intelligence search or uh, intelligent search and uh, similar like Google search uh, and in your Power Apps application. Uh, I had a requirement uh, from my uh, one of my projects that I need to create, um, I need to pull uh, search for a record from uh, a large data set which was coming from uh, uh, through Azure da uh, Data Explorer or uh, it was a large custom query data, uh, custom query which had a large data set and the problem was when I implemented the uh, uh, combo box the search functionality of combo box became disabled because of the large data set so i tried to come with an alternative solution uh, and uh, to uh, solve that problem so this is how i came with that uh, solution that i created a search box that i can uh, filter and search for my records and i can uh, uh, see the intelligence based on the search term that uh, I am typing for example and uh, you can see it's uh, bringing and filtering based on my search term so then for example when I select one of the search terms it automatically sets the, the values for that search term for example device code price and so forth so on for example if I select uh, let's say cap and set that the value device code and price so the basic idea is how we can implement this kind of uh, search functionality in power apps and uh, how we can uh, use it uh, so how uh, I implemented this feature uh, it's, uh, uh, it's quite simple and here if you see I have a text box and on select of my text box I'm setting this variable to false uh, you will, I'll show you why I set that here I'm using that and then I on these uh, text boxes I created variable uh, and for the default value of the uh, uh, these text boxes <coughs> and for uh, here also on the default value I have a variable select item then I have created uh, uh, gallery here and then uh, my my gallery item is on select of the gallery I have uh, uh, put this formula which I'm setting the value of the select item to the, these variables then showing this one to false and then on the items property of my gallery I'm, I'm filtering the text box uh, and put whatever which is searched here and filtering that uh, based on the input of my text box and then I am also doing on select of the gallery I'm setting the values and okay yeah that's it and then on the device on select on change I have this formula and on select I have I'm setting this to true so let's uh, let's demo it again and let's search for example A B okay uh, there was a little load of the data so that's why uh, a, B, for example, it filters 
device, for example, I'm searching and W and you select and it set the devices, device code and price also. So this is useful when you have a large data set and then you have to fill the information automatically and then you have multi-screen forms or you have like you pull data from one table and you need to um, combine it with some other forms data and then submit it to a new uh, the, uh, uh, data store database or dataverse table or any other databases SharePoint uh, whatever so this is the device list for example table that I created and then I'm uh, having these columns that I used it I uh, hope you learned something and uh, from this tutorial. Thank you so much.